What's up guys? Welcome back to Atlas and welcome back to the Enceladus Outpost. I'm back up here. I've got to go and make some money. Uh, running a bit low on funds for the uh, upkeep costs. Uh, we're alright obviously, otherwise I wouldn't uh, have the island still. But um, yeah, got to go and top it up. I've been pretty busy last few days and Rad Dude's been down south doing other stuff and he's also been uh, doing other things off of the game. So, uh, yeah, it's time to top everything up and keep on top of everything. Last thing we want to do is lose our settlement claim on the Darkest Chain in N1. And if you haven't already, come and have a visit. Come up to N1. We're on the official PvE server in the EU. And, uh, yeah, on N1 on the Darkest Chain, the Enceladus Outpost. Come and have a little visit. Um, yeah, so, like I said, we're going to go out and get some money. I'm going to take out my favourite ship, my big old brig, my battle brig. The Sea Wolf. Oh boy, look at her, looking good. If you've not seen the video where I talked about the Sea Wolf and the idea behind it and what it's based on, then check out the video. It will be on the end of this video in the like, uh, you know, the end screen thingy. So check that out if you fancy it. Um, but yeah, we're going to take her out, going to go and see if we can find some whales, do a little bit of whaling, and I'll um, give you my take on how to find the whales for one thing. And um, yeah, just have a bit of fun and earn some money. And also, while we're out and about, hopefully I can locate a level 50 galleon um, of the Ship of the Damned. They've recently, I believe, from what I can make out, they've increased the rate in which they will spawn and you'll be able to find them. So making them a little bit less rare, I think. I think that's what they've done. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find myself one because I haven't got the achievement for it yet. So that would be awesome as a little bonus. And obviously, along the way, I'll probably take out a few fleets as well anyway, just uh, for the shits and giggles because it's fun. Who don't like blowing up ships? So that's the plan. Before I go anywhere, I'm going to just double check that everything's ready to go. I've just topped up my ammo crate and uh, topped up the food larders and all that stuff. And I've just got to make sure, let's put the HUD back on, that um, we haven't got too many damaged things. I don't mind a little bit of damage. Uh, you know, like 90% health is fine, I think. Uh, looking all right so far. A little bit of damage, but nothing too major. Uh, yeah, this all looks good. Anyway, I'll finish getting this checked over. And then we will set off. Okay, all looks good down below. Got our ammo, should be enough for a few whales I'm hoping, and a fair few cannonballs. I've got more if I need need them, I can come back and restock. But um, that should be more than enough for what I've got planned, so that's all good. Plenty of extras in case uh, anyone jumps online and wants to jump across to us. And also, most importantly, we've got some planks and the buckets. Oh boy, I've said it before, I'll say it again, don't go anywhere without a bucket. Or planks, actually. Always keep a few planks. So we're looking pretty good. This has got plenty of food in. Uh, I've got some fish, which I haven't started cooking. What an idiot. Get that cooked up. And uh, I've got food. I've got my armor on. And I've got all my other stuff I need. Grappling hook, spyglass, and, of course, a sextant. Check that speed and direction. Makes things a lot easier. Everyone's mounted, we're all good to go, and Frosty, as always, looking epic. Look at you. Let's get the sails up. Pow. And I think I'm just going to... Um, I love this settlement. Look at it, it looks so cool. Uh, I think I'm just going to head out Well, with the wind. We're going to just follow the wind. Um, obviously, I'm in N1, so I'm in the polar regions. Um, normally find... A whale or two around this island if I'm lucky, which is the darkest chain if you're wondering. Uh, there's some ships of damned over there. They're only low level one, we'll leave that for now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just go in, go with the wind uh, up to the border, see if we find anything, and then I'll probably go down towards them islands over there because um, I got chased by two whales around them islands uh, a couple of days back. So we'll go see if I can find any down there. So with the whales, the way they work is they only really spawn, or well, the, especially the uh, sperm whales only spawn really in the polar regions and some of the tundra regions. Um, I've read a few things saying the best thing to do if I bring my uh, atlas up, pow, and zoom out, the best thing to do, if you can see my cursor here, is 
apparently to go along these borders, so between A1 and A2 all the way along up to A1 and A2, or whichever way you decide it'll be better, obviously I suppose it depends on the wind, just along that border, it's a long run, but if you went along that whole thing I imagine you'd find quite a lot of whales. Um, I don't think you want to be like hugging the border kind of thing, I think you want to be like uh, just able to see it maybe, or not quite able to see it, and just keep it to one side of you and just head along the atlas like that. Um, apparently that's quite a good way to find them. For me, I never venture much further than between M1 and O2, so like M1, N1, O1, O2, N2, M2, right? that little section, I, I never really venture out there. And um, it's normally quite easy for us to locate whales. Um, obviously the sperm whales will just come charging across the map at you. And to be honest, they're the ones I mainly find. I don't really see many blue whales. I have killed a monstrous blue whale up here in these regions. Um, and in fact, I think that was in N1. I don't know how rare that is, or whether I'm confused. Maybe it was N2, but it was definitely up this area. I did not venture very far to find it. So um, they're not too bad, but there are days when you will just sail around and not see any. Um, I have had that. But like I said, I'm just going to go with the wind. I'm going to head to the border. I'm going to head down around them islands once I've got to the border, and I will head along the border. Um, because they're normally, I've found, the other thing I've found is that they are usually within viewing distance of an island. So like you can see our island over there. Um, so anywhere like around this sort of distance out from an island is quite common for me to find them. That's like the normal sort of distances I find them at. So uh, that's sort of what I try and aim for. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to head to the border before I turn around. Um... Yeah, other than that, it's just kind of lucky. Like I said, some days you won't find any. Um, I mean, if you just stay in a region, like I said, that's what I do. I'd sort of stay around N1. Um, if it got too bad and you really wanted to find them, I would probably try out the method that I keep reading about of just sailing along the polar region border, basically, and uh, trying your luck like that. Obviously, see which way the wind's blowing and obviously get the, uh, get the good wind to make things a bit quicker for you because it's quite a distance to cover. But um, like I said, for the most part, about complicating things, I just stay around these sort of six regions at this end, close to uh, Enceladus. Um, oh, while I'm here now, now I've been waffling on all this time. So, like, there's the border, obviously. So if I head down this way, now I would say that was too close. What you want to do, this is what I've took it as from what I've been reading, is uh, to head out away from the border to sort of this distance. So you can just about make out the border. Um, I'm turning around pretty slow, but somewhere here, and just keep sort of turning in and out of that zone, so you can just about keep eye of the border. Um, and like I said, just head over east or west, depend depending on which way um, the winds were favourable for you. Um, I think that's basically what I've been reading as a good tactic for finding them. Um, but I've not actually tried out yet, like I said, I've been getting lucky up where I am. Um, so anyway, before I go down to them islands, I'm going to head back up north, uh, the other way, because I don't want to miss that corner of the map. And uh, it will be Sod's Law, I'll do an entire lap of N1, and they will be in the bit I miss. So I'm going to be safe, and I'm going to head back up north. Um, I just came this way to demonstrate the border thing. So anyway, I'll head up there and see what I can find. Oh boy, it's uh, nearly sunset. What a beautiful view that is. Uh, not such a beautiful view is the emptiness of the ocean. <laughs> it's been about 30 minutes since I set off from Enceladus. I've done the entire uh, northern border now and not seen anything just yet. Um, so I'm going to zigzag a little bit around this area. Um, I'll show you where I am. I'm just in like the northwest. Um, and just sort of where I am now, we've killed quite a few whales, so uh, I'm hoping it might serve up a couple for me now, but it looks pretty dead up here, so uh, I won't hold my breath. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update before it got pitch black up here, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed I will find something soon, or soonish, hopefully. 
and uh, get myself some money. But it's uh, pretty slow going right now. If you look at the uh, top right on the ship diagram, you can see how little the arrow there is, which is the wind, if you didn't know. And yeah, we've got zero wind right now. I'm only doing uh, just over seven knots. Uh, my boat's pretty slow anyway because it's so heavy and fully armoured and everything. So, you know, it's uh, not great when the wind's like this. But anyway, I will crack on and hope I can find something. Oh, it's got a galleon spawning. What level's this? Oh, 31. Well, let's take it out anyway, see what we uh, get from it. Let's get the uh, back cannons on. Don't know if I'm going to regret this or not, but we'll have a go. No doubt I'm going to sail into a whale now. Sheena joining in. Worry about that after. Oh boy, these these boys are going to put down some damage. Gonna have a range a little bit here. Let's put some damage down on the Sheena while we're uh, out range of the galley. Tank a bit of damage here to let it catch up. Oh boy, there goes the Sheena. Let's come to a dead stop. Oh, that's a nice volley. Go on it, him. Yeah, just about clipped him on the front there. Gold it. Oh boy. Let's go see what we got. Yeah, good thing about uh, doing this at night is I can actually see where them crates are. <laughs> the amount of times I spend just sailing around aimlessly trying to find crates I sunk when I haven't managed to group them up properly. Oh, almost took it out. In the end, perfect parking. Oh, yeah. Nice guy. 134 gold, 17 ballistas. Cheers. Oh, some masterwork stuff. Swivel gun and mortar. Pretty cool. Don't need any crew right now, so I'll leave them in the water. What do we get from the Sheena? Come on. So they've changed the uh, drops now. Uh, medium cannibal, grape shot, bar shot, liquid flame, and coins. Okay, not bad. Yeah, they've uh, had a mess around with the way plans drop and the loot tables of things. Um, I wouldn't like to put any information out on what that is because I can't remember off the top of my head and um, I wouldn't want to give you wrong information but I know they have updated the loot tables for things so um, you get more relevant items drop now depending on what you're doing. Obviously we sunk some ships so we got ship related stuff. Uh, before you'd end up with like building plans and stuff like that, as in like walls and floors and stuff like that that weren't really ship related, although you can use them on ships. You know what I mean? You weren't getting like sails and stuff all the time. So um, they've changed the loot tables for it, and they've also changed the loot tables for the treasure chests, I believe. So um, yeah, you can check that out on the Atlas website, I imagine, somewhere in the patch notes and things. But yeah, that has definitely happened, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, back to whale hunting. It's sunrise. A beautiful sunrise up there in N1. Uh, not so beautiful. We have not found any whales yet. And I am in hot whale territory right now. I see two here a couple of days back. One the other side of that island I got chased by. And as I got around this island and that one bailed, thought I was in the clear and one was right here somewhere and chased me around that rock over there where the sun's coming up so um yeah it should have well i would have thought i would have seen some by now but not seen anything but i am not giving up we will get a whale or two hopefully i would i want as many as i can to be honest with you um and like i said earlier i would like a level 50 galleon which i've still not seen yet part obviously that one earlier was level 30 something 
and that was actually about 15 minutes ago so not seen anything in that entire time not another ship not a whale nothing but like I said I'm not going to give up hopefully we can find something and if you don't know quickly the other thing with whales is the sperm whale when you see it um, it aggros in a certain range so if it's within your view distance it, a, a health bar will appear above the water normally and you will see the whale like that with the blue whale um, you just have to keep scanning the horizon which is why if you're wondering why every time I'm doing it you're like whenever I'm doing anything in the video and I'm sailing you might see me just randomly turning my camera just scanning because I'm looking for any little spouts of water because that will be a blue whale so yeah if it's a sperm whale you'll see a health bar Normally, if it's within range, it will be aggroed on you and you will see the health bar. Um, if it doesn't aggro, you'll see it um, just doing cir a circle in the distance. Um, I have my um, view range max, so I should see them most of the time. But normally, as I see them, it will bring the health bar up immediately. So uh, you won't miss it if it's within your range normally, as long as you keep turning your camera around. Like I said, that's why sometimes you'll see me keep doing this. Uh, that's why, because you just don't know where they're going to spawn. Um, talking of spawning, the other thing... Oh, look at that. Looks some nice lighting. The other thing um, I've seen when I've been researching about the whales is that... Now, I don't know. I haven't tried this out because I hate the thought of having to go back on myself and um, just double up on everything. It'll take forever. Uh, but apparently, like earlier when I went along that border, some people will go along the border of the region and double back on themselves because they believe that. Um, oh, I can't see what's going on there with the wind. I had to my head off. Um, yeah, they believe that sometimes the whales get like <laughs> trigger spawned kind of thing. I don't know what the word would be. That's the best way I can describe it. So, what I mean by that is some people think that. The whales don't always spawn until you've been through the area. So if you go like along a border and you come back, you might actually find a whale. I've not tried it yet because, um, like I said, if I'm doing something, I just like to keep going. I don't want to double back on myself. I just try and cover as much area as I can. And normally I do find a few whales, but when it's like this and I'm struggling to find them, I do wonder whether it's worth turning around and going back along the border I just went along or through the area I just went through and seeing if I find anything. Because um, a few people have said that that's how they believe it can work. Um, I, don't, I don't know that for certain. I don't know whether it works. Like I said, I haven't tried it. But uh, if you're really struggling, it might be something worth trying. Um, I will try it at some point, but I'm just going to stick to how I normally do things, and that is sailing around in a loop of the area, and then dipping in and out around islands, and seeing if I can get anything to aggro onto me, or see any spouts of water. But yeah, there's something to bear in mind there if um, you do fancy trying it out. Oh, there's a galleon, what level's that? Oh, 33... I'll leave that one for now. That's nearly the end of the third day in game, and it's been a, an hour and 20 minutes, and I've still not seen anything, and I am almost back to where I started on the northern border. So, uh, yeah, not been, not been too good. Pretty painful, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was about around here somewhere. So, I'm going to take a uh, run through the middle of N1 now and uh, while I'm running through there think of another strategy and see what I want to do next because I need to get a whale I need to get at least a whale today and then that will do me I can have another go tomorrow or something but um, yeah not not great so far <laughs> well might as well take these out. We're nearly back at base. And I haven't found anything. Oh boy. It's been uh, three hours of whale hunting for me and not found a thing. Um, tried, like I said, tried what I normally do of sailing around the edge of N1 and then through the middle of the islands, which normally works for me. 
I don't know, I'll just reset that or whatever. Um, yeah, and not adding luck with that today. We tried sailing up a border and doubling back on myself because, um, like I said earlier, I've seen that some people think that's a thing that when you sail through an area, it triggers the whales, and when you sail back, they've spawned. Uh, that didn't work for me. And we've tried sailing the border of the polar regions. Um, I sailed to the west um, and then I'd done a few grids and didn't have no luck and then I dropped down and came back in the grids below and uh, again I had no luck. Am I out of range here? What's going on? So yeah, not very productive and wasted quite a few hours. Looks like the only good thing is we tried a couple of different strategies didn't really make a difference. I know it was only like one run effectively, but um what I normally do, like I said, going around N1 normally works for me. Yeah, get down you bastard. Yeah, I was thinking about uh adding some blisters onto my exploration schooner, Voyager and um, using that as a whaler as well as exploration because obviously it will be fast um, it will serve two purposes rather than just sailing around in it and uh, yeah I thought it would be a cool idea because I made an exploration boat and then I don't do much exploration because I kind of get bored if I'd rather be doing other stuff so yeah to put some ballistas on the schooner would be pretty cool I guess but I think I might just make a whaler. I might get a schooner. I was thinking I'll do it on a schooner as well. And just have it specifically for whaling. And um, rather than going out and coming back here and limiting my range effectively, I'll use it like an exploration boat. I'll just sail round, uh, along the polar and tundra regions, sail between the islands, take my time, and uh, grabbing some discovery points while I'm at it and then um, yeah hopefully get some whales like that and then once I've got a nice big uh, hoard of gold on the boat I can bring it back and top up things here now and then and uh, that way it will be quite useful and I don't need to worry about getting it back because I like to get this back here in case we decide to do anything with it I don't like to just leave it at a random island, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I think that's the plan. I'm really gutted I couldn't get a whale. We're not desperate at the minute, obviously. Um, we've still got the settlement, and uh, we've got other incomes. Plus, we've got some gold around here, just not on this base, so I can go and collect some. It's not a problem. But it would have been nice to get a few whales and get a nice, healthy, um, well, top-up, really. What am I doing? Oh, I'm struggling to park this tonight. God damn, I'm tired. It's quite late for me, and obviously I've been doing this for a few hours, so... I'm starting to feel it. There we go, nicely parked up there. Right, oh, I've lost another panel. Okay, I've got some, um, got some maintenance to run on the Sea Wolf. After the few encounters we had. Yeah, absolutely gutted. I couldn't get the whales. Anyway, like I said, we've got a plan now for the um, future, the next couple of runs. And hopefully I can start getting an idea how these whales work. I'm sure there's a system. It, maybe it just really is that simple. It's just their rare spawns and you've got to be in the right place at the right time. Maybe it is just that. But I don't know why. I just think there probably is a way to um, do this sensibly and know that you can go out and get whales without having to um, worry about blanking kind of thing. I'm more gutted than you, I'm sure of it, because I ain't got no money. So not good anyway hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah hopefully we'll learn something in the next one see you next time